the big takeaway right off the bat, Yankees fans want to hear about Aaron Judge. And I think it's encouraging that Hal has had a couple conversations with him already. I think that's really encouraging. I mean, once you have more than one conversation, it's a dialogue. Like if you ask a girl out and there's no second conversation, <laughs> she's not going out with you. But uh, the fact that they've had several conversations, there's an open dialogue. That's good. It's going to come down to money and years. And it's going to be Hal Steinberg and his family and the other partners in the Yankees that are going to make that decision. You know, everybody looks at Brian Cashman. Brian Cashman will make a recommendation, but a lot of teams right now are shying away from long-term contracts. We mentioned it earlier. You know, long-term contracts usually don't work out, even if you sign a player one of these 26 or 27. But this guy is so iconic. I mean, the Yankees were the ones who built the judges' chambers, so they made him even bigger than most players that they normally would market on their own team. So it, it, it's going to have to be... Uh, the two of them sitting down and seeing what, what they really want. Yeah, do you think that happens short term or a little bit longer term? I know the baseball winter meetings are coming up, obviously. We've had some big deals done. Cole got done several years ago. The Otani got done, and then they pivoted and went to John Carlos Stanton. Do you see that as a possibility? Well, I'll tell you what. It's one of the. It's another topic for another hot show show, but yeah. it's one of the missed opportunities that baseball has because when NBA free agent starts, there's a flurry of signing. NFL, the same thing, but those are cap sports. This will drag on and on and on. And as Brian Cashman has said, he's going to dictate the dance because he's earned that right after being a free agent. When he's going to sign, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I have no idea. And the longer it takes, the Yankees are going to have to make contingency plans for plan B if he doesn't end up with them. So there's a lot of pressure on the Yankees to get it done sooner rather than later because right. the longer it goes, then all the other solutions that could be plan Bs, they could be off the board. And listen, to the Yankees' credit, they're very smart. Hal, Brian Cashman, etc. They know the way the game works. And Aaron Judge bet on himself at the start of the season. He turned down that deal. He knows he's going to get more. It's them just figuring out what that number is that says, we want you back. Here's a number. Let's make this thing happen. And they, they have not been even cute about it. They've been very very out front. Yeah. This is the guy we want. We want him to return a Yankee. But just watching the way the organization has operated over the last couple of years, there's not going to be an endless pit of money. Like if the San Francisco Giants, let's just pull that name out of the air, offer $500 million for 10 years, I don't know if the Yankees will go there. Again, it's not my decision. It's the Steinbrenner family's decision. But I believe that there will be a point where either side could walk away. Like if the Yankees say, we're stuck at seven years, Judge could walk away. Or if Judge says, I want 10 years, the Yankees could walk away. So I don't think that the, although they both need each other and they both want each other, doesn't mean that they will definitely end up together.